At the same time, the South African Zionist uh, Federation will host a gathering in memory of what they call the mass murder of innocent Israeli civilians following Saturday's attack by Hamas. The SAZF will be joined by the various uh, political parties and other interest groups. Uh, Director of Public Policy at the South African Zionist uh, Federation, Benji Shulman, joins us for more on this and he joins us via our video link. Benji, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on uh, the late edition. Of course, uh, we know that uh, tomorrow uh, you will be hosting a memorial service uh, you know, for uh, the loss of lives of Israeli people. Just tell us more uh, about uh, this memorial service taking place in Johannesburg. Thank you, Mbali, and uh, good evening to all the listeners. Yes, uh, we are going to be having this gathering tomorrow uh, in memorial for this massacre that happened last Saturday. We've also, uh, unfortunately, received the first distressing videos from Hamas showing them holding Israeli babies hostage. Um, it's very concerning given what's going on at the moment. The gathering is going to be from across the spectrum from uh, the Jewish community, of course, but also many from the Christian community, uh, the opposition parties, and, um, and, and civil society that is concerned about the situation. And we are going to be coming out strongly to condemn uh, the massacre of 1,200 Israeli civilians. Uh, 1,000 have been injured, 200 have been taken hostage, including Holocaust survivors and babies. Uh, and we're going to be sending, I think, a very clear signal to the South African government that we find their current position unacceptable. Mm. And, you know, this prayer service that you will be holding tomorrow, will it only be focusing on the loss of innocent lives of the Israeli people, or you, will you also be remembering the innocent loss of lives of the Palestinians as well? The focus of the gathering is going to be looking at the issue that sparked off this whole thing, which was the massacre on Saturday. Uh, that is being committed by Hamas, which uh, charter calls for the expelling of Jews from their homeland and the murder of Jews. And that is the focus, because that is the problem. Uh, if Hamas lays down its arms, we will not have no problems and we will have no issues. Uh, and we are very concerned about the civilians in Gaza and what is going to be happening to them uh, in terms of Hamas's control of that area. And we're very happy to see that. I've seen reports that the evacuations have started and uh, humanitarian corridors have been produced so that civilians are out the way and that the armed uh, people who were responsible for this atrocity can be dealt with. Mm. And while we do know that uh, this was an attack uh, by uh, Hamas, uh, but at the same time, uh, do you accept uh, that uh, it is also uh, the innocent lives here being lost on both sides of the spectrum? I think what we need to understand is that the, what we want to call for and, and understand is peace, right? One of the reasons why this massacre was perpetrated and why so many innocent Israeli civilians were murdered and why these hostages are being taken at the moment by Hamas is that Israel and Saudi Arabia were on the brink of signing a peace deal. And what Hamas is trying to do here is to use the Palestinian population as well as the hostages that they have from Israel to try and force that peace off of the agenda. And I think until we can deal with this kind of extremism, we're not going to have the peace we need to save the civilian lives that we need to save. Mm. And tomorrow, as you hold uh, uh, this memorial service, I understand that uh, some political parties uh, will also be joining you, and that is uh, South African political parties and various organizations. If maybe you can guess, uh, just give us a bit of more insight there in terms of uh, who will form part of this memorial service. Yes, thank you for that. Well, uh, we have seen enormously uh, condemnatory statements and appropriately condemnatory statements from a vast array of political parties, uh, Action SA, uh, the Patriotic Alliance, the Democratic Alliance, the FF Plus, the ACDP, the Encarta Freedom Party uh, have all come out in condemnation of the massacre. I think uh, in contrast to the rather problematic position of the ANC on this uh, that is uh, currently supporting a regime that is involved in the violation of women's rights, of children's rights, uh, of minority rights, of religious rights, uh, and that is a, an extremist organization that was murdering not so long ago uh, Africans in Mozambique. And in South Africa, played a role in rooting out uh, that uh, evil that was affecting the people of Mozambique. And we do hope that the strong showing of political parties and civil society and churches at the event tomorrow will send a signal to the South African government 
that its position is unacceptable. Mm. And, you know, one would say that when we uh, dissect, uh, you know, the message coming out uh, from um, uh, the ANC today, I mean, I was even speaking to uh, an analyst even earlier on, uh, they stayed away and they shied away from the words Hamas. And uh, they said that, uh, you know, they are supporting uh, the people of Palestine. Why do you find an issue uh, with uh, their statements uh, saying that they are supporting uh, the people of Palestine in this conflict and not necessarily using uh, the words Hamas? So I think it's such an important point to make, and Barney, thank you for making that. The, the key thing is that they haven't used the word Hamas, but they have used the word the people of Palestine. And I think everyone wants to see the civilians of Palestine getting out from under this undemocratic extremist regime. And the South African government is not calling out Hamas, which is the per people who staged this thing and are now putting the civilians of Gaza at risk. Uh, and I think that that's a real problem. Uh, we're not calling it for what it is. We're not saying what it is. And unfortunately, it's the same position that we see seeing uh, with Russia and Ukraine, where they refuse to call out Russian aggression uh, against the civilians of Ukraine, uh, and they're refusing to call out Hamas against the people of Israel, and are now, unfortunately, against the people of the Gaza Strip. But why are you also uh, shocked or surprised uh, by the sentiments coming out from the ANC? Because uh, one would say that uh, what they said today is particularly nothing new. Um, you know, they've continued to stage pickets even in the past uh, and continued uh, to uh, show their stance uh, when it comes uh, to, you know, the situation in the Middle East and why indeed uh, they are supporting Palestine. I mean, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa even went as far as, uh, you know, uh, saying apartheid um, and uh, this is what he likened it to, saying that because of the apartheid history South Africa has, uh, this is why it has shown its support uh, for Palestine. And Molly, what I'd like to see is the South African government showing support for South Africans. You know, we had two South Africans that were murdered in this. We have South Africans that are missing potentially because of this as well. Uh, when are we going to have a government that supports South Africa and supports the Constitution? Because at the end of the day, all South Africans are governed by the Constitution, including Sol Ramaphosa and the ANC. And the Constitution provides the right to freedom of expression, the right to freedom of association, the right to religious freedom. And all of these are being violated by Hamas, not just on the Israeli civilian population where they're decapitating babies uh, and burning women and children, but also on the population of uh, Gaza where Hamas has ruled for 15 years without an election, without any freedom of association, where they have thrown off other Palestinians off of roofs who disagree with them. Uh, and I think that it's time that the South African government and Cyril Ramaphosa put the constitution first when we look into the into the, the way we are, conduct our foreign relations. Mm -hmm. And Benji, part of our conversation, you've been calling for, the, you've been saying the word peace. Uh, when it comes, uh, you know, to the issues uh, uh, in the Middle East, what is your call uh, as the South African Zionist uh, Federation, especially, uh, you know, in the broader spectrum of the international community? At the moment, the African Zionist Federation is calling for a number of things. First of all, we're calling for the release of the hostages immediately mm -hmm. from Hamas. And we're calling for all South Africans to pray for that re release of hostages from Hamas. Uh, and we're calling for the South African government to be even handed in its approach to the Middle East and to use its uh, history of negotiation and understanding of conflicts that it seems to approach everywhere else in the world to fairly and usefully engage in the peace process in the Middle East. All right. Benji, thank you so much uh, for your time.